Hello everyone and welcome to my uh, 18th recombobulation, the eighth, 18th day of my recombobulation countdown to my birthday. I am sitting on a ferry uh, in the northwest here. I don't know if you can uh, see out there with the window. But I am uh, headed to Seattle where I'll spend a couple of days before I hop on a flight on uh, Saturday to head to Southern California to see two of my grandkids, to partake in a reunion gathering, uh, to see old friends and uh, people that I have known since uh, grammar school, which is pretty amazing. Then heading back to the Northwest uh, connecting with a friend here and we're headed up to Canada for a few days so this is part of the recombobulation um, I was talking this morning with a friend who came in her PJs actually to give me a hug before I uh, headed off on my adventure and uh, we talked about how we are curious souls who need to just step into the unknown and she was really questioning whether that part of her whether that's being irresponsible and as we were talking I thought you know we have been so uber responsible um, during the course of our lifetime that anything stretching outside of our comfort zone seems irresponsible or like, is it the right thing to do? Or you think of all of the shoulds and the have tos and the musts. Um, so I'm not sure, who knows whether it is or it isn't. I know that I feel more alive when I listen to my heart, not my fear that tells me when to leap. Um, uh, there's always something satisfying about not doing it exactly by the rules. Um, bending reality a bit um, and I always do the deathbed test of you know on my deathbed which will I have rather wished I had done and then I lay the two the two or multiple possibilities in front of me and usually lean towards that that makes me feel lighter and more joyful or more excited anticipatory um, than those that will keep me safe. Now, I think the opposite, that it has a weird opposite effect. It's where you think what is likely going to jeopardize you in some way winds up expanding you and actually making you more, more safe and secure about who you really are than if you stay in the illusion of safety um, and play it, play it safe, thinking that uh, staying in your comfort zone will somehow bring you greater joy. I really still hold the belief that the greater joy exists on the outside of your comfort zone, at the edge of your comfort zone. Um, so I'm not saying take irresponsible leaps. Uh, do your due diligence to a degree, but then just trust your heart because I have, even if I fail, I figure I am willing to take, stand up one more time than I fall and always willing to mine for the blessings rather than uh, stay stuck and repeat the, the mistake. Mistakes are only opportunities to learn. So good, bad, or otherwise, I am off on another adventure, and I will keep you posted along the way as I recombobulate, reorganize, question, wonder, and be amazed by how things unfold for the next few days. Thanks.